Right, so here we are. This is the uh, front wheel of the Monkey Bike Super 73 style thing that I'm trying to build. Um, I've, basically, I'm trying to make uh, brake discs on a bike that hasn't, hasn't got brake discs. If you look at these wheels, they've got holes for my Vigeon brake discs. Well, I bought these wheel spacers thinking they would just go straight on, which they didn't. Um, I had to bore out the inside of this which took bloody ages with, with some sort of file. Um, if you have a look at this one, it's got like a thread in it, which I presume you just thread onto a normal wheel, which just hasn't got that option. So I thought, f it, let's just file it. But I've just put it on and uh, it, it looked good. It was on, really stiff and everything. But, so I was having an issue with, once you put the caliper where it should be, it was getting caught in, in there. Sort of like this, it sort of sat. Okay. Oh, <laughs> it was sat in there anyway, and uh, being a bit of a pain in the ass. So, what I thought I'd do is to space it out, is use the one that would normally go on the back wheel. The only thing is, it might be too much, it might be spaced out too much because we're looking at like a almost an inch now. Uh, so we're just going to put it on and see what it looks like, see if it works, and go from there. Or just throw it on my wheel that I just painted. F idiot. As far as I know, this is going to work. Um, it basically, we packed it out, so we've got. I don't even see it. There's two there, it's spaced out. And if you look at the brake caliber now, it sits on there and doesn't hit any of the spokes, which is good. So that's the position we want it. The only thing is, these bolts I bought, which cost me five pound for 500, no, it didn't cost me five pound for uh, 50. They're too short. They're, I don't know if you can see it from, from the back. Um, they only just poke through, so we probably need another another five mil on them just to get the nut on uh, so I have to come by them tomorrow and then we should be happy days I'm going to just try it on the frame and make sure it doesn't rub against the the fork now but I think I think we solved it as you can see those bolts just miss I suppose as long as they are missing We should be alright. I think your plan's gonna work, Russ. That's good. I'm trying to get this one ended, it's not good. So that's gonna be welded on there somehow. Anyway, the cable will run up and we should be there or thereabouts.